To replace your door locks, you will first need to remove the door panel and the exterior door handle. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. This photo illustrates the door with the door panel off. The first thing you want to check is the upper left corner. If there are two plastic rivets, then the door lock assembly is attached to the panel that the regulator is attached to as well. You will need to remove the exterior door handle. There is a small cable attached to the assembly that you can only get at with the exterior door handle removed. Again, follow the link provided at the end of this video. The motor on our window regulator was not functioning, so we had no way to raise or lower the window to get it in position to remove the window clips. If you remove the motor first, you can easily pull or push the window up or down with your hands. To remove the motor, remove the three T30 Torx screws on the motor, red arrows. There is a wiring harness on the back of the motor that is easier to remove once the motor is off the door panel. With the motor off, turn over and raise the lock bar red arrow on the wiring harness connection. Pull the tab up, red arrow, and slide the harness off. There are two circular access holes to the window clips. Use a screwdriver and pop them open, red arrow. With both port open, slide the window up or down until you can see both window clips in the opening, red arrows. Securely tape the window fixed in this position. Use a T30 torque and completely remove the two bolts, one in each clip, red arrow. Then pull the window either all the way up and retape it in place or remove the glass by tilting it forward and removing it from the door. Unplug the connection from the speaker by squeezing in the two clips, red arrow, and pulling it straight out. There are a series of clips, red arrows, holding the wiring harness to the panel. Use your trim removal tool and gently remove these clips, red arrow, so that you can reinstall them when you put everything back together. After removing the exterior door handle and cable attached to it, remove the two bolts holding the lock assembly to the door, red arrows. On our car, they were 8mm triple squares, but your door may be different. Only remove these if the lock is still attached to the inner panel. Otherwise, wait until the panel is removed, then remove the bolts. Remove the 11 10 mm bolts from the door panel, red arrow. Clear the speaker from the door and lower the panel. Disconnect the harness from the lock, yellow arrow, and remove the rubber grommet, red arrow, and pass the wiring harness through. The window regulator is attached to the door panel, so you will have an empty door when you remove it. The easiest way to replace the lock is to drill out the small rivet, red arrow, holding it to the plastic bracket mounted to the door. Release the small snap clip, yellow arrow, to free the lock from the bracket. This way the bracket mounts, purple arrows, and the two grommets, blue arrows, and cables can remain installed in the inner door panel. You will still need to remove the door pull lock, red arrow, in the inner pull cable, green arrow. Remove the inner pull cable, red arrow, from the lock bracket, green arrow. Remove the door lock pull, green arrow, from the lock bracket, red arrow. Remove the exterior handle pull cable, red arrow, from the lock assembly. The new lock assembly does not come with this cable, so you will need to transfer it over. Install the pull cable, red arrow, into the new lock assembly. Hook the inner pull cable and door pull lock to the new assembly and install the new assembly to the mounting bracket. The rest of the installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.